Alright, what's up everybody? It's Nelson here and today we are going to go over the five qualities that you should look for in the music library. So stay tuned. Alright, let's jump right into it. Now, when you're getting started in the sync licensing, for a lot of us, our very first stop is going to be a music library. Okay, and if you haven't yet, make sure you download my free music library play-by-play -play that will go over what you need to do to be successful in sync when you're getting started with a music library. Okay, so again, I wanted to come at you guys with the five qualities to look for in a music library. And in this case, and it's not like all things, of course, but in this case, this is a matter of quality over quantity, okay? A lot of people will start submitting music to a ton of music libraries and just throwing things at the wall, hoping that it sticks. And a lot of times you just have to focus in your time and just pick the right music libraries that fit for you and for your music. So again, I want to hit you with a couple of qualities that you should be looking for. The first one is communication. When a music library has an open door policy, that's a good sign. Okay, you want to make sure that you're in a library that, you know, you can email and then you get emails back. Not necessarily right away because people get busy, but you do want to make sure that you get your emails back in a timely fashion. Okay, everyone is busy, so we have to respect that, but it shouldn't take a library months and months and months to get back to you, especially if they might have a larger team, um, and especially if you have been working with them for a while. So definitely keep that in mind. You wanna find a library that, you know, is really good at communicating. But again, don't pressure the libraries because everybody is busy and a lot of libraries don't have huge teams. Sometimes it's a two-man team. Sometimes it's a 20-man team, you know, or 20-woman team, okay? But just make sure that the communication is there, you know? Everything, this is based on communication, and we need to know what's going on, sell an issue, arise, or, you know, you're just um, tapping in and keeping in the loop, okay? So communication, that's at the top of our list. Next, you want to check out their composer roster. Who else do they work with? Music libraries with expansive rosters or a lot of tracks can be a good place to pitch your music because you kind of can get familiar with who else is on that roster and if they've had success with that music library. So that can save you a lot of headache with just, again, throwing things to the wall, seeing if they stick, okay? So for instance, if you go to a music library and you see that maybe they have hundreds of composers, I would say, you know, reach out to one of the composers on their social media platforms and talk to them about their experience with that music library in particular, because that can give you a lot of insight that you wouldn't otherwise have, okay? So I think that's a good idea, checking out their composer roster. Again, you can um, come up with networking opportunities where you can collab with somebody in that library. Um, and again, you can build relationships that way. So make sure you check out their composer roster as well. Next on that list, just like the composer roster, you have the track diversity. Now, this is very, very important. You can always go to a music library and you might see that they have a lot of hip hop tracks, okay? So if they have a lot of hip hop tracks and they're gaining a lot of traction on a, um, particular shows, but you do a completely different genre of music, that might not be something that's a fit for you if you don't do hip hop, okay? So again, that goes with any genre. Make sure you check out their track diversity. A good thing is that a library that works with hip hop, R&B, country, um, gospel, dance music, a library that has a lot of diversity in their tracks, that could be a good home for your music because number one, you could probably fit any type of music genre in there and you can have um, a decent amount of success with that library because at least you know that they work with a variety of tracks, okay? So that's always a good sign, um, a library that has a lot of diverse tracks. Next, reputation, okay? There are things like the Facebook group. You could join our Facebook group too, by the way, the NSYNC Facebook group. The link is gonna be below. But people ask all the time about different music libraries and other people's experiences with those libraries. And that's always a good thing to check out, okay? You wanna know about the library's reputa reputation. Sorry about that. You wanna know about the library's reputation because that will help you in the long run as well because then you're able to say, this is not gonna be a good fit for me because 
10 out of 10 of the composers who work with that library or who have heard of that library all have negative reviews. That can also work well with good reviews, okay? So if you find that a library has a lot of good reviews and people have great things to say about working with them and people have success, you could really narrow that down and say, hey, this is a library that may work for me. So again, guys, I just wanted to bring those to you. Make sure you look for those five qualities when you're checking out a music library. I'm sure that there are other qualities and I would like to know what do you look for when you are looking for a music library. And again, as a reminder, make sure, especially if you're new to sync licensing, your first stop is gonna be a music library. So download the free music library play by play where I give you five tips on getting in a music library and potentially getting on a brief list so you can start landing these major TV placements and join us on the sync side, all right? So thanks for tapping in. I will catch you guys later. Peace.